Welcome to today's online class. Continuation of our unit 5 about waves. Our last time we learned about the calculations of the frequency, the wavelength, and so on, and the speed. We learned about that. So without wasting time, let's continue with our lesson for today about waves and today we are here to discuss about the types of waves there are two main groups of waves there are two main groups of waves one is called mechanical waves mechanical waves requires a material media such as this can be water it can be air or it can be a rope like when you look at a rope and you start swinging it like this up it goes up down up down so that's a media and that's mechanical those are mechanical waves uh, in all types of mechanical waves energy moves from one place to another while the media carrying the wave on the vibrates back and to for the position the media will not move away it remain in the same place but it will only vibrate like i've given you an example of a rope if i'm standing at this point and then i start swinging it up and down up and down it will not move away it's going to keep on vibrating, going up and down, up and down. But the media remains at the same position. Yeah, so that is mechanical waves. Next is the transversal wave. Transversal wave is a type of mechanical wave where the movement of the media is perpendicular to the direction of the energy movement. Transversal wave is a type of mechanical wave and the movement of the media is perpendicular to the direction of the energy movement. Uh, you can note that you can simply say the transversal wave is when the movement of the media is perpendicular to the direction of the energy movement as simple as that so that's what you should note i may ask you to give me two types of waves then i may ask you what is what are transversal waves transversal waves these are waves where the movement of the media is perpendicular to the direction of the energy movement yes so take note of that please some some let's have some diagrams some images to show the transversal wave you can see this is a rope so this rope is moving up and down this woman is the one holding the rope so this is the source of the media but this rope will just move vibrate up and down up and down without moving away it remains at the same point because the person the disturbance the person causing the disturbance is not moving so that's it and then this is another type this is the same as the first one the only difference is about the how long the wave length is these are so squeezed and this there is a gap so these two are showing us transversal waves
process of transverse waves we can have we can see what is this it's a rope so we can call it rope waves can see this is a this is a, a sea or a lake and what do we find in the lake there is water so this is water waves and then we all of we also have the electromagnetic waves uh so no take note of this they are all caused when a disturbance is caused to the object or simply say all oh, these waves you are seeing the rope waves the water waves the electromagnetic waves are all formed when there is a disturbance caused to the object rope waves water waves ma electromagnetic waves are all formed when there is a disturbance caused to the object if this water is just there it may not cause waves should there be a disturbance such as wind when someone dives into water is disturbing that water then eventually we can be able to see these waves being formed the same happens to a rope if a rope is just there it has no problem get it and start swinging it up and down waves will be formed so in that case you are disturbing the object to form the waves thank you objects are not disturbed they are at the resting position and this resting position is what we call the equilibrium so i may ask you what is meant by equilibrium the equilibrium or rest position of the media in a wave is a position when an object is at rest okay in a wave so that is what it is meant scientific longitudinal waves these are mechanical waves which means they transfer energy through a media unlike transverse waves longitudinal waves cause the particles of the media to move parallel to the direction of the wave the other one moves perpendicular and these move parallel to the direction of the wave so that's the difference between uh, the transversal and then the longitudinal or the mechanical and longitudinal waves let's continue looking at or discussing about the longitudinal waves they are most common in the springs where where they are caused by the pushing and the pulling of the spring uh -huh. although the surface waves on water are transverse waves fields liquids gases and plasmas usually transmit longitudinal waves so if i ask you in what instances can we get to know about the longitudinal waves or things that form longitudinal waves you can talk about fields liquids gases plasmas all those transmit longitudinal waves or all those form longitudinal waves from one place to another 